Well, a D.C. Superior Court judge stood his ground today, denying the public access to a hearing which could have major consequences for the man convicted of killing Chandra Levy. Ingmar Gwandike was convicted in 2010, but now crucial new evidence has emerged. Stephen Cheetah just got out of the courtroom. He has breaking developments on this. Stephen? Allison, whatever this information is that has surfaced, we know it is indeed significant. Ingmar Gwandike is back in D.C. tonight. He was in the courtroom today. Now, gone is the wiry, energetic young man who was convicted of Chandra Levy's murder almost two and a half years ago. Today, Gwandike appeared slim, thin. He was very drawn, his demeanor almost somber and slumped. Attorneys for Ingmar Gwandike and for a series of media outlets argued by closing hearings about new evidence in the Chandra Levy murder trial, the judge violated the First Amendment. Just before another scheduled hearing today, the judge said he will not open up the hearing. We don't see adequate effort to uh, end this blanket secrecy as quickly as we think it, it ought to be. Guandique was convicted in the murder of Levy, a Washington intern, based on circumstantial evidence. A fellow inmate's testimony proved crucial to the conviction. But now prosecutors presented evidence about a witness which could put that conviction in doubt. But the judge again refused to release this information out of safety concerns. There's virtually nothing on the public record as to uh, other than that there is a, some safety concern and that the, this relates to uh, some information relating to the reliability of the testimony from a, a government witness. Well, DK will be back in court next Thursday for another closed hearing. Now, when saying that he would not make this information public, the judge did say eventually it will be released. He said that could happen in two or three months.